It's really sorry, but uh, something wrong with the elevator. Uh, but I hope you're not hungry, because Steve Jobs once said, stay hungry, stay foolish. Uh, there is a video at first, but there is no Suffering sound. Suffering from low TPS okay, with high comes. cost and DPoS, troubled by ballot rigging. It seems that decentralization, safety, and high TPS with low cost form the impossible triangle. With DDPoS, we help crack the problem one step further. Introducing DBX Chain, the world's first public chain powered by DDPoS consensus mechanism. It offers over 1 million parallel sidechain TPS, as well as high data security, while still remaining properly decentralized. The secret of DDPoS lies within its unique Trinity node design. A Trinity node is a super role in real-time changing in the entire DBX chain network. They serve as witnesses to validate transactions by creating block accounts. The Trinity nodes are elected by other token-holding nodes according to their historical contributions. Different from a super node of DPoS framework, the Trinity nodes have no way of ballot rigging. They are evaluated by time-weight contribution chosen by random selecting protocol, and live campaign makes the name list constantly changing. Thus, the Trinity nodes faithfully serve not only transactions, but also data game. The first app on DBX chain that utilizes DDPoS mechanism. Please visit our website at dbx.1 and engage in a DBX chain journey with DDPoS technology. Code is law, in which we believe. Well, I didn't know there was a video. Well, very cool. Uh, let me introduce to you about the DDPoS mechanism, which is our consensus mechanism of our DBX chain, uh, which is unique. And it is a new approach to the parity of efficiency and equity. Well, uh, it's really a hard to reach parity. So uh, actually, blockchain offers trust. But there is also a very serious problem about what the Ethereum and the US brought us. Because originally, the sufficient competition and effective administration should provide the base mechanism of credit. But the problem is that how can we make everybody trust each other without any obstacles? So then we have the paradox. So, Every time we know that we should decentralize the network so that everybody could trust each other because the credit is totally decentralized and the credit is so dispersed that everybody could trust each other very easily. But it is not actually. There is a paradox at here because there is an impossible triangle. Okay, this is our DBX version of impossible triangle. That is decentralization, high TPS with low cost and safety. OK, so everybody knows about proof of work, right? Uh, so uh, would you please show your hand if you know proof of work? Well, I think most of the audience knows how. So uh, everybody knows that if we use proof of work, this kind of mechanism, it proves decentralization and it proves credit. Yeah, indeed. The blockchain network has been continuously running for nearly a decade without any big troubles. So proof of work is a very trustworthy mechanism of consensus. But the problem is that what happened to Ethereum? Because everybody knows that although Ethereum is the most popular network, there is serious problem on it. It is too expensive. The gas is too expensive. And the confirmation is slow. And there are too much traffic jam. A value system actually has become a ERC-20 pure token system because we have known that 70% of the world's tokens are issued by the ERC-20 protocol and on the Ethereum network. The huge problem is that they are pure token. 
they are not real world application at all. We see crypto tickets and we see that it's a game. Okay, so that's better, uh, much better than FOMO 3D. <laughs> How many people know FOMO 3D now? Yeah, uh, maybe a few. Uh, you'd better not know that game because it is so blatant. <laughs> it calls himself a scam. Okay, please exit our FOMO 3D scam as soon as possible. But this is the biggest problem. We don't have real world application on blockchain currently. Okay, until now. Until DBS network, I hope. And then we met US network that declares to be more high efficient. But the problem with the high efficiency is that it is an exchange. And it takes the cost of security and democracy. Actually, democracy is the least important problem because we know all the network will have the democracy and decentralization problems. But the most important thing is about safety. So how do we improve the safety of the network? Okay, let's see our solution. So it is a bit complicated and it is a bit sophisticated, I think. But uh, let me demonstrate it in a very simple way. That is about our polling system. Because everybody knows that we have to use a delegate system, delegation system, so that we can get real high efficiency to the network. But the problem is that how do you vote for the delegations? So the voting system has been totally changed in our DBX network. We had a revolution on polling. That is passive polling. Because we actually do our data exchange via our contracts, via our DBX smart contracts. But via the contract, in, which, in each contract, we must designate at least one node for your data checking, for your data validation, so that every validation of the data are actually passive voting for the data quality and also the node. Let me show you an example. If there is a data exchange on our network that is selling the picture of an invoice, you must at least designate at least one node for data validation if your picture uploaded is indeed an invoice, not a white paper, right? So the validation node actually passively cast his vote if he thought that the node indeed provide with valid data. So if the data checking node, that is our Trinity node, really think that the data is validated, then it will cast a vote passively to the node that offer data. So how does this system work? What are the advantages of this system? First of all, we all know that the US has a huge problem of voting rate. You know, there are a lot of no-shows on the EOS voting system because a lot of people don't know how to vote and they are not willing to vote. That is actually the common problems of every democratic system, every voting system. So if we use passive voting, the voting rate is not a problem because if you want to validate the data, if you want to keep the DBX network run, you must cast a vote and the vote is not willing. You cannot choose which node you should vote. You just passively vote to the nodes that provide with valid data. So that brings us the second advantage of this network voting system. That is, it's really hard to read. It's like our video shows. If you want to rig the system, you must force the Trinity node, force the validation node to provide the selling nodes with false judgment, right? You must say that, oh, no, 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 this is, the, this is not the white paper. This is the valid invoice data picture. You must tell a lie to the nodes that involves in the data exchange. However, this has big costs in the DBX network because if you always offer with false judgment, you will be wiped out of the network because no node ever wants you to be the data validation node, ever. So that is the key point of our passive voting system. 
And actually, these slides are not important, so generally, you can listen to me. And the flowing block producer, that is our second key point. That is about the polling system and also the consensus mechanism. How do we choose the block producers? That is the most important problem or the most important question to solve in the blockchain industry. Actually, we know that we must use a delegated proof of stake kind of mechanism to break the problem of efficiency. But how can we keep it safe? Actually, we use the polling system based on passive voting so that we can choose the block producer totally randomly. It's really hard to predict. The huge problem with the EOS voting system is that the result of their polling is really easy to predict. The predictability is the huge enemy to safety. So we use a real-time floating block producers. We actually are voting at real time. We are always voting. And our voting is based on data quality and network speed, this kind of non-mathematic model, so that it is really hard to predict. So let me show you a vivid example. If you want to infiltrate into a military base, and if the patrol is very regular, it is very easy to infiltrate into this military base, right? But if you change constantly, like if you patrol in every one minute, and the next time five minutes, and the next time you use drones, oh, it's really hard to infiltrate into this military base. So that's an vivid example of how our system works, how our consensus mechanism works. OK, uh, forget about the math. Uh, let me show you a very easy example to understand this. It is because that in the EOS network and in the DPO's consensus mechanism, we all know that every node has 30 votes. And actually, the world people always want to cheat because it's so easy to get new votes. You just have to set up a new node so that you can guess and you can cast 30 votes. That is terrible for the network's democracy and security because it's so easy to manipulate the whole network. But if we use the time-weighted contribution that all your contribution to the network is locked on the blockchain network and it can never be modified, that is very important for the fair voting system because in a fair system, the nodes that really continuously contributed to the network must be awarded, right? They must have more voting rights. That is what our time-weighted contribution and the mathematics do. OK, so this is a comparison between our DBX chain and others, uh, like EOS chain and Ethereum. And actually, uh, we use DBX blockchain as a powerful ecology developing tools. And we are now extending developers' community in America. Uh, so that's what we are doing today. And that's what we are doing in this week in America. And we hope that more developers will join us, will join our DBX community, and join our developing program. Because we are a really powerful data-based blockchain developing tools. OK. Uh, so the Data Game app is our first app and has attracted 30K users in 30 days. That is really a huge population. So uh, how do we do that? Because it was the first app that utilized our DPS advantages, that is high efficiency and security. So it is a data collection program. And it really attracts a lot of people, but also not only people, but also the users really contribute their data because they trust our network, they trust our efficiency, and also the security issue. OK, uh, so the contract, as I believe, and as I have described, the contract is about voting. It's about passive voting. So I will not repeat that. And with sincere gratitude, and my last words will be, I really, I'm really f looking forward to developers to building a large community of developers in America and also worldwide. We hope that all the developers could join us, that we can build really a better and real-world application blockchain together. Thank you. <laughs>